What is up, everybody? Welcome to a Wahoo Packed episode. Very excited to show you this special edit here, shot down in the beautiful country of Panama. If you like seeing Wahoo getting speared, this is the video for you. Got some great spearfishing content for you guys here. Plus, for the very first time filmed ever, a Wahoo being shot filmed from the sky from a drone. Buckle up, because you're not going to want to miss this. It was a beautiful morning. We headed offshore to a spot we had dove a couple of days before, seen a few wahoo, and figured, hey, let's wait for the full moon. I bet it's gonna be loaded. We hit the water to find incredible conditions. Glassy, great visibility, and as soon as we got in, we were met by schools of all kinds of jacks, like these horse eyes, white tip reef sharks, almaco jacks, it was just on. Here Brandon's telling me, I don't know, the camera's not working, don't shoot this one, so just casually watch as they swim by, but they weren't really what we were after anyways. It didn't take long looking around the area before we started seeing Wahoo, or Onos for my Hawaiian friends. We've been using these throw flashers, which are essentially just a reflective handheld device you throw to bring fish in. They reflect light in all sorts of directions as you can see. I had seen a fish come by, through the flasher, drop down, here comes a wahoo, line up, shoot, game on. So I knew I got a good shot, and you'd be surprised with even on a mid-sized wahoo, the amount of power these things have on that first initial run. By far one of my favorite fish to fight anywhere in the world. They never let you down. That initial run is just full of so much power and speed. They are just one of the funnest fish to shoot. Whether hooked or speared, Wahoo are famous for having one initial amazing run. After that one run, they kind of tire out. They're real susceptible to lactic acid and you can kind of just gradually work them in. Finally inch this thing closer and closer. Tried to get a good grip on it, and at this point it was pretty much mine. Nice solid fish to start out the morning. I was very, very stoked. Of course you want to dispatch your fish as quick as possible and always bleed it out to ensure that meat quality is as high as it can possibly be. So right here, Brandon sees a couple of fish in the surface coming in on that throw flasher, and dives down to take a better look. It's a nice stone shot on that fish. Great shooting with the rifle 130 euro. Right after Brandon gets his hand on this wahoo, he looks down and this nice rooster fish comes up to check him out. Pretty cool fish to see, not that good eating. Shortly after landing that fish, Brandon drops down on another wahoo that came by. Didn't quite give him the opportunity on that first shot. So he hangs down, sees that it's gonna come back for a closer run. See it just kinda circling that throw flasher, doesn't know if it wants to come back. Grabs the flasher, goes up, chucks it again. Maybe this will pique its curiosity, bring it a little bit closer this time. Let's it sink a couple of feet and drops down. You see there's one or two wahoo out there kind of circling around it. Levels out facing the general direction of the flasher and boom! Curiosity got the worst of the wahoo. And like a pro, he grabs the flasher on the way up. That's the only way to do it. And like a pro, makes record timing with this fish. Showing exactly how to fight him, bring him up, don't give him any slack, and sure enough, gets the thing up in no time.
another beautiful Ono. I still had my fish in my hand and we had to come together for the pound shot. Nice work, buddy. Underneath all the wahoo action, the reef was alive. He's a big school of barracuda. And shortly afterwards, I stumbled upon this massive manta ray. It must have had a wingspan of over 20 feet. What an incredible animal to share the water with. Also, if you guys are enjoying this video, please hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications to be updated on all my new edits just like this. So with all these fish so close to the surface, a crazy idea popped into my head. What if I could film one being shot from the sky? I got back to the Ponga, hovered the drone over Dylan and Brandon, Brandon on camera, and Dylan on the gun. Dylan punches a dive towards a throw flasher, and I'm sitting there through my tiny little screen watching what's going on below. Unbelievably, a wahoo appears and he shoots it right in front of my eyes. You see the fish appear, he gets a great shot, and it explodes right through the surface. Wahoo almost never do this. It's insane to be watching this, let alone be filming it. Here's an underwater view of the exact same action. The fish makes a run straight through the surface, busts up, and I'm trying to keep this thing in view as it starts towing Dylan all over the place. Brandon's right there with the underwater camera. I'm flying from the sky, and for the first time ever, we're getting views of both underwater and above of the same fish being shot. First time ever right here. You can see how much power this fish has just towing him through the surface. It's still got some energy into it, so I'm just slowly flying around trying to keep it in view. Dylan begins making some good progress, making sure to swim up current and feed that line behind him for safety. You never want to let that line get wrapped around you. Brandon punches a dive right here to get a little bit closer angle underwater and actually stumbles upon something pretty incredible. A big Elmago Jack was following this thing around. I don't know if it was trying to eat it, thought it was a friend, was competing for food or what, but man those Elmago Jack are aggressive. Pretty cool to see. Fish is in its final dead circle phase. Dylan begins making more and more progress, gets it nice and close, finally gets his hand in the gills, and it's game over. Absolutely insane. The very first time being filmed from the sky and from below. Here he is holding it up for the drone for a nice aerial shot. Gets his hand in that gill, and it's time to dispatch the fish. Remember guys, my channel is loaded with all kinds of spearfishing content just like this. Please give me a like, subscribe for more, and turn on notifications to stay updated with all my new uploads. Thanks for watching.